easy now folks pretty excited about this new fish food that i found so i thought i'd share it with you while i'm trying it out origin uh first found it on a facebook group and had a closer look was pretty excited about the ingredients and some of the features which i'm not going to you can look at the website yourself which i'll i'll put their link obviously in the description below but yeah i was impressed enough to look closer and give it a go so i ordered the krill power granules and the tropical community formula as well as the stick on grazers the packaging looks amazing doesn't it not that that should be a deciding factor when you're looking at fish food but kind of helps it <laughs> it looks nice eh? kind of helps you to feel excited doesn't it but let's have a closer look at the food not only does the packaging look great it feels great too it feels quality tears open easy enough and then you've got kind of ziplock feature to help you keep your food nice and fresh you can always transfer it into like a airtight tupperware pot if you want but with packaging this good why would you <laughs> you want to look at it didn't you granules look a nice size they look like they've got good form to them as well they feel solid in fact it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall to mush in your water some foods are a wee bit powdery and kind of fall apart right away makes your water all cloudy but wouldn't mind betting this wouldn't sure i read something about that on one of the packets somewhere doesn't seem to be on this one though so i'll have a look in a minute but right we'll have a look at the tropical community formula looks to be a nice amount of food in the packet and i know you know what you're ordering but when you're ordering 250 grams worth of fish food can you think what 250 grams looks like I'm not sure i can the tropical community formula seems to be a drier composition than the krill powder power granule sorry and then we've got the grazers now i was supposed to get a clip with these and i'm not sure what's happened here it's certainly not in the packet and i don't see them sold separately on their website so i'm going to contact them and i'll put in the uh, description below or the pinned comment what sketches with that right tell you what my first thought was though I wouldn't mind biting into that and giving that a try. I think I spend too much time around fish, maybe. If I thought it looks that good, though, I'm sure the fish are going to love it. And luckily, I can fashion together a wee clip to use in absence of the proper one. Good job on my proper fish holder, hey? You can always use an aquarium food clip as well. Whatever's going to keep it in position where you want the fish to graze on it quite a good way of getting to see your fish eating in a different way maybe see some of your plecos and whatnot that don't necessarily always come up to the higher levels of the tank you can always just chuck it in let it sink to the bottom of the tank and anything down there is surely going to be attracted I'm sure the plecos your shrimp your snails they'll all find it before long i want a piece of the action as you can see, Mr. and Mrs. Electric Blue Akara are first to the table as they are tank bosses just now. I suspect that's just until these seven grow out, but certainly there is a lot of interest in there. The catfish, clearly excited. I don't think they, I mean, I think they can sense the food, but not really sure how to go about it. It is a new food to them. It's quite the range they've got, not just the three that I bought. I figured I'd just try a couple, see what I thought about them, but I'm definitely going to get more. I'm definitely going to try the cichlid formula and a couple of others. The Malawi one is meant to be amazing. Now, obviously, I don't keep Malawi, so I can't say one way or the other on that, but I've heard it's good. Right, I knew I've seen it somewhere. Seating features, full flying down, stable feed in the water column, to help keep your water clear and it got me thinking well how clear so let's go over to my laboratory well 
not quite a laboratory, but more a few test tubes <laughs> that I hastily bought from an online seller because I had a, a good idea of how, how to test this. And my mate Bobby has borrowed my um, API test kit just now. So, in fact, holler to Bobby. About time I'll give you a shout out in one of these videos. Hope you're all right, mate. He's got my test kit just now, though, so I didn't have the test tubes to use. That's why I ordered more. Anyway, grab myself... Grab myself two foods at random. So we've got Fluval Bug Bites and Tetra Pro. In fact, it's a 50-50 mix. Tetra Pro, Algae and the colour one. My idea here is to get equal amounts of those two foods and tip them into a test tube as well as two equal amounts of the two origins. Not the, not the grazer one, the other two. Handy that the caps of these test tubes are hollow because that's what I'm using to measure out equal amounts. It's maybe not the most scientific approach to this, but I am a fish hobbyist, not a rocket scientist. So, like I say, I'm going to measure out equal amounts of each. Right, that's done. So, on the left we've got the Tetra Pro, then we've got the Bug Bites, then we've got the uh, Krill power and then the tropical community formula next we're going to grab these smaller tubes and get equal amounts of tank water into those see where i'm going with this i'm going to pour equal amounts of tank water into each of these test tubes then i'm going to give them a good shake and see which one comes out cloudy or clear or you know let's not anticipate let's give it a go See how it ends up. The idea is to determine how likely each of these foods are to cloud your water after feeding. So with equal amounts of food and tank water in each of the vials now, I'm going to cap them and then we'll give it a, a shake. Now I realise a shake is probably a bit more vigorous than your fish gobbling at the food, but well, it's a, the method I came up with, eh? Seven seconds, that should do it. Wow, look at that right away. Right away. You can see the cruel power granules. That's the second in from the right. There's virtually no cloudiness at all. And that is the packet that I showed you. The one that said stable feed in the water column to help keep your water clear. It's certainly clearer than any of the other foods. The Tetra Pro looks the cloudiest by far. And then I think it's a close thing between the, the bug bites and the tropical, tropical community formula from Origin. Very, very close. But then actually on the back of the Origin packet, it doesn't mention about keeping the water clear. Don't claim that. However, we can see the Origin uh, cruel power granules that did claim to keep the water clear is probably going to do exactly that. Like I say, it's not the most detailed investigation into water clarity after adding fish food, but I'm hoping it was a bit of fun and a little bit interesting too. Right, let's dump our test vials of origin fish food in the tank here and see what the fish make of it. So, oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> It's all stuck to the bottom of the, the test tube. I, was, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Mix it up with some water and drop that in. And they're right at it, look. Right over to it, aren't they? I'm going to take from that that they find it quite palatable. Obviously, this is just brand new to me. I don't know what it would be like over time. But if I do find anything negative about this food, I will report back. Otherwise... I intend to, like I say, buy some different flavours that they do and give it a right good shot, by the way. I think I've poured a wee bit too much in there. I didn't realise how much the bottom of a of a test tube holds, but ugh, it will get finished up, I'm sure. Purely on judging the ingredients, the composition and the way the fish are reacting to it, definitely encouraged. I really do think this is gonna be a good food for my fish 
Right, let's chuck it in another tank and see what happens. Everybody's excited. Look at them Ras Boras. They're right onto it. The krill ones may be a bit too big for their wee mouth, so I'll chuck in some tropical community formula as well. Yeah, look, the rams are getting excited too. They're loving it. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. I'm not saying rush out and buy this stuff. It's the best thing ever. I'm, I'm not saying that. I've only just got it myself, but early indications are all good. I'm definitely going to try out their other flavours. The delivery was super quick, by the way. I think I ordered it, was it a Thursday and it was here next day? Pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if it's just a UK or a European company at this time. Maybe if somebody in the US can have a look, see if you can buy this stuff and drop that in the comments below. In fact, I'll make that the pinned comment if you are able to help. Like I said in the beginning, I found this food on a Facebook group. It was Cichlid Mayhem, and I think Origin sponsors Cichlid Mayhem just now, so maybe worth checking out because you can find a 10% off discount code in that group for this food. Might as well take advantage of that while it's available, and I'm out. Later, 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 later.